Hello everyone. This is Algorithms Made Easy and today we are going to solve the question permutation part 2. Here we are given a collection of numbers that might contain duplicates and we need to return all the possible unique permutations in any order. So this is an extension to the permutations question in which earlier we had given distinct integers but now we are said that this might contain duplicates. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the same code that we have done before in permutations part 1 and make some slight changes to it. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'd suggest you to go to that video and watch it once. However, we'll be writing the code again. So let's just start with the code that was there in the permutations part 1. We take a result variable. And we'll return this result. In between, we'll perform backtracking, which will take result, nums, and the starting position as we did in the earlier question. In the backtrack function, if start is equals to nums.length, we need to add it into our result list. So where in this two list is our method and otherwise we'll do something else. Let's first write in the method to list. So this method is nothing but it would take the nums and convert it into a list. We can perform this in the above code also. But let's just keep it separate. So this gives us the list and now we'll move on to the else part. In the else part what we did was we had a for loop starting from start till nums.length and here what we did was And then backtrack for the next index. After this is complete, we again bring the array in the original form and thus swap it. So this works fine when we had an array that had distinct integers. But now, here we have duplicates. Here we'll have a custom logic that would perform these steps only when the number is not duplicate or the number has not been seen earlier. Before that, let's write the swap method. We'll take temp nums of i equal to nums of j and nums of j equals to 10. Now, what do we write here? We need to write a condition that if i is not equal to the start we are giving and if we can't permutate on start i and nums we need to skip the below steps and continue. So what this method will do? This method will check if the number start has appeared before in the list of nums. So let's write that method. It will give us a boolean. So, 
what we need to do is we'll take a for loop from start till current if nums of i becomes equal to nums of current that means that number has appeared return false otherwise return true at the end let's run this So this is giving us the accepted output and let's submit this code and it got submitted. The space complexity here is O of 1 while the time complexity becomes O of n factorial where n is the distinct integers that are present in the given nums array. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.